girls welcome back to the channel welcome back it's been quite a mad few weeks to be fair um the last couple of videos i've put up very funny i did the united 2 m3 service video <laughs> <laughs> where we did the oil on the coolant. Oh my God, I've never seen people so mad about the color of coolant. And for the record, we drained everything out and I double checked and it's absolutely fine, but I've just never seen so many people so mad at me about putting a different color coolant in the car. Look, I'm trying my best lads. I, I'm here for the engagement. Thanks for commenting and telling me, you know, just how wrong I am at everything, but it's fine. It's okay. I don't know. I feel like the internet is angrier than ever at the minute. Anyway, back to this video i'm in a good mood so i've been thinking recently i should revive my review series a girl's guide to i'm on the new car hunt i'm having a look around because obviously we all know that my gatm3 is in the salvage yard in the sky well it's not it's in manchester somewhere apparently um so i'm looking at buying a new vehicle and i'm having a look around and i'm just thinking you know what nice informal reviews where it's actually practical what is going on with the car market at the minute i mean everyone's telling me it's a disaster and if i buy a new car i'm absolutely mental we'll all just have a quick look at it we'll have a quick look and see what happens so i'm on the hunt for a new car and i've been trying a few things out starting with this beautiful little defender 90 that i'm sat in right now so i thought you know what i'm gonna do a nice little review on it there's some things i like there's some things i don't like so why don't we just get back into it? That's what I started my channel on when I was uh, first starting out was doing these little reviews. So let's revive it a little bit. So let's get into today's video. Um, it's a girl's guide to a Land Rover Defender 90 P400. Let's go. We're trying to upgrade the audio on my channel one year at a time. Here at Becky Evans Industries, we have heard <laughs> your complaints <laughs> and her, we've seen the feedback sheets. HR has discussed it with us. Like, we're on it. We are, we're are. we doing our best, all right, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, back to the Defender. I love the fact that we are wafting around Warwick. It's, it's very... Country file. Yeah, it's country file. Jet. No, because I feel like you could rock one of these anywhere. I live in Jaguar Land Rover country, so I do see a lot of these driving about. Mm. I do really like them. Now, driving the actual car, it's a three litre, it's an inline six, and it's also, this one is the 400 brake horse power one. I mean, to be fair, it shifts for a car that is really quite heavy. At the it's end of it's the day. very nimble, it doesn't feel like a big slouchy no to be honest even before the crash my driving style has completely changed anyway mm. most of the time i'm on cruise control i'm cruising around i'm on my way to something i'm not driving like a dickhead anymore i do all my driving like that on the track yeah. so i kind of get it out my system so now i just want a car that i can cruise around is really comfortable i really like the way you're sat up high in these things like the 90 as opposed to the 110 it is the sh slightly shorter one if i had the choice i'd probably still stick with the with the 90 over the 110 just simply because i like the i prefer the way it looks but is it that useful with trying to get things in the back we took this drifting the other day and we got six wheels and tires in the back of it with the seats put down we managed to get a jack and a toolbox in it yeah. but i mean at that point you're packed to the rafters this is absolutely fine for the level of drifting we're doing you know where we're taking like maximum six wheels and tires yeah we're not taking like a like a dmec like back catalog of, of tires no you're you're doing you're doing oh. a minor drift day but the fact that you can also tow with this because this has all of the towing capabilities obviously it's four wheel drive it's kind of perfect if you're a hobbyist one of the good things that i also like about this car is that you've got great visibility like from the wing mirrors to the actual rear glass there you can see so much so if you were towing something you can keep your eye on it at all times it's not kind of forgotten about like as soon as you look out your windows you can see everything really clearly which is a big thing for me because sometimes it is possible with especially with how modern and how good these vehicles are especially with this four-wheel drive quite a powerful engine it is easy to forget that the car is on the back yeah which sounds ridiculous but it really isn't so I, being able to see it at all times and sort of keep an eye on it is a good thing for me i feel like i'd probably struggle a lot more if i was in like a van but this is also not super agricultural or anything it's quite nice in here the infotainment thing's really nice like i think the display is all geometric and nice there's spaces and bits but it's also quite light in here like yeah. all those little cutouts to the side are quite good for letting natural light and there's a sunroof it's nice and bright it's not like you're not slumming it no I mean? I mean ultimately fraser it's a it's a ninety-five thousand pound thing yeah 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 like, 
we were like, oh, okay, maybe it's like 60, 70. I was completely wrong. Mm. We're this With the extras that this has on it, it has uh, like a couple of cool things, which I do really like. Like you have the, the fridge, so you can put your can of Diet Coke or your iced latte in there. Then you also have the cup holders and you have the bag holder. So you can put your handbag just through there, which is nice and, you know, mm. keeps it off the floor. It's just, it's all very handy. There's lots of little cubby holes everywhere. There's, there's lots of- chargers there. There's chargers over here. The cup holders are in the back are on the floor, so they're kind of out of the way. It doesn't have like in your knee spaces. There's grab handles in the back. It seems quite comfy, actually. Yeah, utility-wise, this thing hits all of the marks. And even though I would never be a, a woman for sort of a brown interior, I don't hate it. I would have the black interior just because I, I know myself that I would probably end up wrecking this. I was panicking the other day when I could see I was using all the mats to cover any part of brown leather in this place mm. when we had the wheels and tires in here. But I can't really complain. But it, I will say 95K for a vehicle which, and I'm gonna have to talk about it, that I'm struggling to insure mm. is, it's it's a big risk. I didn't think the sound system was that good, given that it's like a, a Meriden or something. It's like a yeah. really fancy one. But then I um, I had a little mess with the EQ on it. Mm -hmm. And like whoever been in it last, it obviously just turned it all down. So I, I turned it up and it was way nicer. A, a good sound system is a big thing for me in a car. It's all you need. Apple CarPlay, a good sound system and a comfy drive. I can't complain about all of that. If I was to buy one of these, would I get this high of a spec one? Because I would be taking it drifting, probably not. So I've been spoiled with this for the last month or so, mm -hmm. but the towing capability is great. Mm. So I'd go for a slightly lower spec because the price is a little bit high for what I would be using it for. But ultimately, what can I say? The thing is really nice and comfortable. Ooh. Is it slightly less hunty than a G-Wagon? So we've decided if I was to get one of these, it would be slightly lower spec drift ready 90 black interior also another thing that i really like it's got rubber mats everywhere i know that sounds silly but i constantly drop coffee diet coke water in my car and just by the end of the year the carpets are mank with this you just get your little steam back out sort it straight out it takes two seconds this is a really nice place to be yeah and if you said oh we've got to go drive to ireland tomorrow pick up the car or we've got to drive to spain for an event tomorrow in it like you wouldn't be like oh, yeah, it's very comfortable. Yeah. I get no backache. And it's got lots of adjustability in the seats. So. Heated seats, cooled seats, fridge, oh. a charger for everyone. It's very nice. So the summary is, we like it. It's good for both aspects of my life, which is like a nice car to drive around in. You don't look silly when you turn up in it and you can tow a drift car with it. But this, uh, is this or an M2 at the minute? What? Oh, I just, I've got many years to be super comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> no, you haven't. Now, if I was going to buy one of these, I would have probably gone for the all black, but this silicon silver colour, which is ever so slightly more, what's the word that I'm looking for? Understated than a brilliant silver. And it really sets off this sort of biscuit interior as well in there. It's got the panoramic side glass here. It's also got the panoramic roof. And it's got all the nice little gloss black bits on it. Like, as a vehicle, it's a very good looking vehicle. Like, I do like the 90s over the 110s. I just think they look more compact. But to be honest, I've really found that driving this car around has been extremely comfortable. Now, the one thing that obviously we all know about Defenders is there is a small issue when it comes to insuring them. And as a, I just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna ring up my insurance. If I was to buy one of these, what's the insurance looking like? Now, first of all, it is possible because I know that some insurance companies are like, mm, okay, don't really want one of those on our books because they are quite hot at the minute. Um, I would have to pay around £4,000 to have just this vehicle insured, which is quite a lot of money, but at the same time, it is still a £95,000 car. So whilst it is expensive, it is kind of what you get, what you get, what you are. <laughs> Today, Junior! You get what you pay for, to be honest. Like, this is how it is with these things. I really enjoy the new Defender shapes. I think that they are utility, but they also still look nice and sleek. They've got that whole heritage feel to them. But at the same time, it can be really modernized. Like, I do really like the urban ones that you can get as well, like with all the nice little bits and bobs in it. I like the contrast bonnet on this as well. Would I still go for this color or would I go for a black one? I don't know. I think actually this is a little bit more understated. 
I do quite like it, but this is me growing up a tiny bit now, you know, that is actually slightly happening. Another personal thing about this is, this one's got a few optional extras on it. It has the towing capability, which is brilliant for me because I am going to be towing things this summer. Now, the boot space, as you can see, we have a backpack, a coat, and my all-time favorite, obviously, we've got some jump cable because, you know, I'm in an abusive relationship with all my cars and they decide that they are not going to work when I need them to, so I have these on hand at all times. It doesn't have the best boot space, like, but you can pop these down, this is kind of easy, but you know what I mean, you know, for everyday use, we did manage to get a good amount of wheels and tires in here when we went to the drift day, so utility-wise, I could make it work. I do like the fact that it has the full size spare on the back as well, but you have to be careful with these because I have also known locally that a couple of these have gone missing at times. So all in all, I do really, really like it. I think it's a very good looking vehicle and for an SUV, it's not too offensive and it's very easy to park places and what more do you want really? So this car itself actually only has £4,265 with options on it, which did make me laugh because I had a look at it. It's got the cold climate pack, which gives you the heated washer jets and headlight power wash. 260 quid. I could have probably lived without that, you know. But the, the towing pack, which would be very important for me, is about £1,425. These are things that I would have, and also the comfort and convenience pack, which is twin front cup holders with the cover, wireless device charging. I mean, these are things that I consider a necessity, which I know is a little bit bougie, but they are kind of a necessity if it's a car that you're gonna be using every single day and to be used for what it's supposed to be used for, which is a SUV, sports utility vehicle. Perfect. Okay, so that is my time with the Defender over. I mean, it's been a wicked three weeks to be fair. It's been such a handy vehicle to have on the fleet. I mean, when you're moving around, doing drift days, that kind of thing, the Defender is a perfect everyday vehicle. You're sat up high, you're super comfortable, you can do all the things that you need to do. Now, my main points with it are, is the price a little bit high for something that I'm gonna smash about and fill up with wheels and tires and kind of leave wherever I need to leave it? Maybe, and the insurance situation, is interesting but does it rule it out of the list no it doesn't i think i'm gonna have a little bit more of a look around and see what else there is out there i think i might have a look at an m2 next i've got a real soft spot for the new m2s and look it's the last manual box of bmw you're ever going to do so i really think i need to drive one of those before i make any decisions about what i'm doing next i feel like a nutcase at the minute because i'm trying to pack everything up and get ready because we are on the way to FD. It's the first round at Long Beach. It's next weekend. I can't actually believe that it's come round so quick. It's like we're getting into the season already. So I'm just surrounded by my things trying to get myself ready because I'm gonna be leaving at like 6 a.m. tomorrow. I'm gonna get myself ready. I will see you guys in a couple of days. I have a new video up for you. I might do a behind the scenes if you guys are interested on what it's like to be an FD girlfriend. It's stressful, I can tell you that, but James is the one who's got the most pressure on his pack right now. So I'm gonna stop waffling, I'm gonna get packing. Thanks so much for watching as always. Big, big thank you to JLR for letting me have the car. They've always been very good to me. Now, what I wanna know from you guys is, do you wanna see more A Girl's Guide too? Do you want me to bring the format back officially? Are there some suggestions of cars that you would like to see as well? I know I need to get Joanna back on the channel as well, so maybe you'd like to see us go out and review a couple cars. Maybe, we'd, actually, I need to get her Suzuki Cappuccino on here. I know a couple of people were talking about that so you let me know in the comments below if you want me to bring it back you might be like absolutely not back it was useless or you might think there are some things that you'd like to take a look at so you let me know down below i'll see you in the next one bye